sketch cards. What exactly are sketch cards? They're actual sketches drawn by licensed artists and randomly inserted into trading card packs. If you're lucky enough to score one of these bad boys, congratulations! You're now the proud owner of an official one-of-a-kind piece of licensed art. When sketch cards first came out in the late 90s, the idea was for artists to do a quick 30-second sketch, usually in pencil. At times, it's easier for artists to do their cards with Sharpies or ink drawing pens. Some cards are produced with a tinted color surface, which lets artists work with black and white pencils to add extra highlights, giving another dimension of depth to the drawing. Some artists will go the extra mile and add limited color with markers or watercolor. And yes, some artists, including myself, have been brave enough to do an entire set fully painted in full color. Hey, if you do anything that has your name on it, you want it to be worthy of your signature, right? Of course, you can make your own sketch cards to add to your collection or trade with friends. All you need is sturdy cardstock paper, like 3-ply Bristol board, and trim it to size, which is 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Now you're ready! But the art of drawing sketch cards is really the art of drawing fast. I get a lot of practice doing quick sketches at book signings, shows, and conventions. But you don't have to be invited to Disney World in order to beef up your chops. You can always practice on your own or invite friends over to make sketches for them. At a book signing like this, I'm usually only armed with a Sharpie, so I can't erase any mistakes. This forces me not only to draw fast, but to draw correctly the first time around. 